Hi everyone, welcome back. I promised I would make a video on the new Lenovo Legion Y700 uh, Android 15 update. And I, I wanted to use it for a few days just to kind of see what it was like. Uh, and I actually think this is the best update they've done so far. Uh, a lot of the problems that were in the last update have been fixed, especially the most annoying for me was the lock screen bug. And it was this weird bug that when you when the tablet went to sleep or was just left for a few hours you went to re-unlock it and it wouldn't you'd have to reboot the tablet so that has definitely been fixed um now a caveat to that i've only tested it with a pin so the last time i was using it was with a pattern uh, and i thought Do you know what i'll just change it and just see if the pin helps and i've not had that issue once yet so that's definitely a, a, a kind of good thing from this there's, there's a few other uh, things I've tested the gaming performance as well uh, I was asked to test the Call of Duty at 104, 144 Hertz uh, that's butter it's move just like usual uh, I actually think I've solved one of the issues that was actually on XDA uh, originally when I read the post someone said that the touch um th there was problems with the touch it not responding well what i found is when i was on the lowest hertz uh the touch did that but when i was on the 444 hertz it, it was fine so i don't know if it's simply that the the person who had it had it on the lowest hertz setting the refresh rate and that's why they were having them issues um i mean i didn't find it as much even on the lower one it was just ever so often it would happen but yeah I, I think that's what that problem was i will say as well only update to this rom if you're on the global version so because i don't want someone updating this rom when they're on a china version or an, on any c version classed as the the fake global rom uh, the, there is no such thing really as a fake global rom it's actually the nec rom uh, just with some added languages, but people call it a fake global ROM. Um, it's a J Japan version ROM. So it looks like a global ROM, but it's actually a Japanese version. Uh, and you can see, you can usually see that within the ROM, the ROM numbers when they update are different to the global numbers. So that's how you know the difference between the rest of the world, NEC, and the China versions are the ROM numbers and the way that they, they do that. So only update to this ROM if you're on the global version. If you're on the Chinese version of this ROM, then there is a China version specifically for that. And that will rather be in the mirrors. Or if you're on a Chinese version that's uh, updated through the system update, then just update through the system update. If you're on a, a Japanese version and say you bought the tablet with fake global ROM, slash Japanese version use the NEC version so double check what version and I'll show you it in a second so that you know the difference between them um, so yeah I think this is probably the best update they've done so far they've made a lot of uh, new customization features I'm going to try and go over a screen capture after I've shared a little bit more information on this ROM uh, just on some of the changes that's happened and and again th these are subtle changes but they do make the tablet i feel i just think it's smoother all all round i, I sometimes when you read stuff on xda you, you think it's going to be a horrible update but actually when you update you think no they've actually fixed a lot of stuff that that was wrong um so yeah let me go over to the screen capture and i'll just guide you through how you know the difference and which uh, update to use for your specific version okay so this is the main mirrors directory uh, for the Lenovo update Lenovo update um, and in here this is the main directory and then it's in firmware and then Lenovo W O uh, W and then this so this is where you can see the slight differences uh, so in here it's got CN which is obviously the China version um, ROW which is obviously the rest of the world and then NEC will also have NEC in there as well um, so you can see that this was the update that I've just done which is the 17.0245 uh, and this was only for the rest of the world uh, the China version so if you search the model number TB320FC and it's slightly different as well for the Lenovo 
uh, Legion 2025. If you go to TB321FU, um, go to this. He is the versions for the um, 2025 version. So at the minute for the 2025, I think it's only up to... Uh, so this is rest of the world, 16.110147. Uh, there's the 17, actually. There's the rest of the world, 17. So that would be the Android 15 update. Um, it's funny that a lot of these start on the China versions and then move over. But let me search for... Um, so <clears throat> it's also worth uh, worth noting that on, on the XDA as well, uh, another user has pointed out that there's actually no global version for the Gen 3 release. Uh, so it's like it's little things like that, that when you read it, you think, so if someone's got a, a China version of the Gen 3, they might automatically think, OK, I can switch to the global ROM. Um, but this user has pointed out that actually the, it was only ever released in China, so there isn't a global version. And it's kind of little things like that that can catch people out uh, before updating. That's why I always say, if if you're unsure, one, check XDA. Two, just Google the actual comment. You know, like um, Android 15 update, NEC version, and then the model number. Um, because it it can save you a lot of headache in, in the long term. Uh, you know, you don't want to brick a tablet and then you're unable to, to recover it. But what I'm going to do after this video is try and find the actual update for the NEC version so that those who are stuck on the, uh, quote, fake global ROM can actually update as well. The NEC version is actually got a different name to it, and it's called the... Um, okay, so the name that it's got is the NEC Lovely Tab 9 QHD1. So this is the um, Lenovo Legion... Y700 2023 version this is what they call it so what you can then do is search this model number and then search the Android 15 update uh, now it's worth mentioning that you might have to update to Android depending on which update you're on you might have to update to Android 14 and then you can jump to 15 because I think these tabs originally started with like Android 12 or something like that um, but this is the model number that you're searching for if you're on the fake global ROM. So I'll include some links uh, in the description of this video uh, so that you, if you're on the NEC ROM, uh, you can update to Android 15. Uh, from what I've seen, I've not seen as much information about the Android 15 update for the NEC ROM as I have for the Chinese version and the rest of the world ROM. Uh, so it's worth definitely making sure that you know what build you're on and once you know what build you're on then you know which is the correct rom to flash because again i don't want anyone bricking their tablets it's you need to do as much research as possible before making any decision to flash a rom but with that said i'm going to uh, let you have a look at the android 15 update i'm going to do some screen capture and then we can kind of walk through some of the changes uh, from the last version okay so my audio wasn't working uh, when I recorded this on the tablet so I'll kind of take you through uh, what you're seeing on screen so first of all I think I just test the responsiveness of the actual ROM uh, you can see there that it's to me feels much more snappier uh, than before there's been some changes as well to the actual animations uh, behind it And then I'm just going to test the folders because in the uh, ROM update it did mention that there were some changes to the folders and the way that you do folders. Uh, so I'm just checking if there's any changes to the widgets. And then dragging and dropping. And then this is where it says about the folder changes uh, to enlarge the folders and basically to have pop out folders and, and just differences there. So there's some new wallpaper's been added as well, uh, and some differences in icons, like the taskbar has been changed. Uh, and then I'm just checking now for the refresh rates, uh, and it's still got all, obviously the same refresh rates. Uh, I've got it on 120 at the minute, but it can be set to 
144, which is what I've done the testing with uh, Call of Duty on, and it ran perfectly smooth, uh, just as well, if not better than before. So this was in the update that there's been some changes to the grid options and the icon sizes uh, as well. Yeah, font sizes can be changed. And then this is the battery information of my tablet. Uh, I did notice that the battery lasts longer, uh, so there could be some optimizations under the hood. It did say that in the update that there was some changes to the battery, um, so I was just making reference of that. So this was one of the big changes. I think this is to Android 15 generally, uh, and that's that you can update uh, Google Play and some of the security settings straight from the menu system. Uh, I think this is just a general Android 15 update thing. Uh, but yeah, there was actually an update for mine so that after this I'll reboot it and then uh, be able to apply that. And then I'm just checking because someone did mention that there was problems with the Dolby surround. But again, I've not had any issues with that. 